Hello and welcome back to Fibre Friday and back to Leslie Crafts. Right, Jay, um, my, my desk's a mess but I'm going to clear it up in a minute. Um, I came on here today and I'm thinking, ooh, I haven't done a lot this week for Fibre Friday because I've done quite a lot last week. And I'm thinking, ooh, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a short video. And then I started to game my bits and pieces together and stuff. And I've actually done quite a bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll clear my desk and then I'll show you what I've been doing because things are in different bits of order. Right, Jay. Okay. So first of all, um, this could go on because I'm also doing my um, impression queen with Poet Spice on Sunday. So this is like a crossover between the two. But this is just a normal um, notebook. I got a set of three for Mazda's um, and I've embossed the background and then I've just sewn, I've got my sewing machine out after many, many years and I've actually sewn just some circles on them and I've just glued some buttons on. Very simple and easy to do and do you know what? I quite like sewing onto card, so you might see a bit more of these projects with a few bit more details on them. But like I say, that's my first attempt at doing that, and I don't think it's too bad. Right, Jay. As I've been doing all my bows and stuff, I've been getting um, leftover of the ribbon and stuff. So these aren't finished, but I've just been making some embellishments with them and putting the odd bits of ribbon on there. So literally, I mean, like odd bits of ribbon. Um, but I'm also going to try and sew some of these together as well to give it a slightly different effect. There you go, with some new embellishments, um, like styles, which is one way I normally do. So um, I should be back this week or next week with my one pad embellishment makes. Um, I've had a couple of weeks off due to the kids being off and not really being able to film as what I wanted to do. Um, but we're back. Everybody's back to school and work this week, so I'm trying to get myself back into a routine. There you go. Oh, that one hasn't got any ribbon on that. Slid into the wrong pack. There you go. So you know the tiniest bits of ribbon on there and all my all of these were made from my scrap packs which I've got a video on that one as well excuse me while I'll just delve and get that one so you know that is another like series and I'll be showing you very soon what I've been making with that you know because I've just done something today and I've just got those two bits of scrap ribbon Normally I'll chuck them out, but I'm just going to attach them to some embellishments. Okay, my next project I've made are these like flowers, and I've done these from some jelly wool strips. So there's two sizes, and all I've done is I roughly cut out a petal shape, and then done them an inch stitch and stitched them together. So, so I've done all of these. So I'm just putting them into clear bags just so I know where they are. So that's one size. And then I've done the same again, but on a small size. And then I've made, I've just made one of just a, but they're like big rosette flowers. So they're quite big. They're, um, some inches, some in inches go. They are five, five by five inches, so quite big. But I thought you can either put a brooch back on the back of there, and where where it says a big flowery brooch, obviously these don't, don't have to have the tassels on the end, or you can put them onto, attach it onto some ribbon, and then put it on as a um flowers are present so yeah lots of ideas so 
and again I might just be putting these into small packages as and when so they will be getting made up and then they will be making an appearance again once they've all made, been made up um, I've gone on YouTube and I've pushed myself um, I can crochet but I can do granny squares and that's about it so I've learned how to do and if you're an experienced crocheter and you see many mistakes it's okay I know there's mistakes in these um, but these are my puff stitch flowers so I've done one I've made them up obviously um, two and then you know why I done one in black I haven't got a clue there you go three so this is going to be my ongoing project and eventually I want to make them into a like a long bed throw just to chuck over my double bed um so you know so again these might come out to show you how I've been doing with progress any change my video is just about to run out um I've also been knitting so you've seen me on Facebook I've been posting little teasers of like these little strips here saying what am I going to be making okay, so, so my next thing I did is like, these are in stages I've sewn them all together well sort of together and I've got two projects in mind for these I'm going to show you one so from long strips into little things I've made them into little cute little bow paper clips I am so this is so stinking cute as Vimo can say but I do we absolutely love them um so yeah so I've been doing lots of them I'm also got another project in mind with the bows so there'll be some bows um by themselves um if you follow me on any of my groups or well the groups I'm in should I say or any if you follow me on Facebook I've been making them into little packs so that's one little bow pack and then that's another little bow pack but that was too big and then I just shortened it down so and again I'm going to be selling these at my craft fairs come in the back end of this year and we all know that you all loved my little um, paper clip with the eyes on so I packaged one of them up I so I just love that. I think that's really good and I've just put a bit on there. So that is what I've done for this week's um, Fibre Friday. Hopefully uh, next week I'll have some other stuff to show you and some I'm hoping to get my flowers finished and some more my bows done and hopefully one of the other projects done with the bows. Um, that's knitting and I'm getting my speed back on my speed back up on my knitting as well so which is quite good so yeah so until next week check out the other ladies um but some of them have got really really good projects um yeah and until next week and um, we'll see you soon bye now